Alrighty. <clears throat> so today is Thursday, Thursday, May the 18th. And I haven't posted up a video in a little while. Been working too much. Some of you guys might be uh, following my channel. You saw the couple of videos I've got on the uh, 68 Chevy C10. It's still sitting over there in the corner of the yard and I still need to do a new video on it because I said I was going to a month ago and I still haven't done it. But right now I'm doing a video on my 1990 Dodge Ram B250 van. And um, to start off with, uh, I had a guy comment uh, actually just a few minutes ago on another one of my videos from about five years ago on this van. Um, and he wanted to know where the fuel pump relay is. <coughs> I've never actually had to change the relay in this van, but I can tell you where it's at. If you look right down in this neighborhood right here, let me move this out of the way. That guy right there, I got my finger on, that's it. That's the fuel pump relay right there. So it's on the driver's side, the battery's mounted right here. It's literally just right down by the battery. It's got that funky looking little tab hanging out there, but that's it. That's fuel pump relay. This thing has a thousand other wires just dangling around in here like that guy right there that I don't know what do. And of course you can see that little, you know, whoever rigged that up. I don't know what it's for, what it goes to, but it's working apparently. But anyway. <clears throat> I've been driving this thing. Needs to be cleaned out again, but hey. I don't know if I'd done this in the last video I made of this van, but I uh, made me some pretty snazzy homemade door panels out of a couple of pieces of old Luon that came off from a bathroom door. Um, this piece of these pieces of wood on either one of them are actually original to the original door panels and I just tore them off and painted them blue and put them back on these and I reused the old screws and everything. Uh, what I did to make these is I just took the old door panels off, laid them on top of the Luon, traced it out with a pencil, and then um, I actually cut them out with a whiz wheel on a Dremel because I didn't have a I didn't have a skill saw or anything like that to use. So, But hey, the whiz wheel worked pretty good. Um, I got my crap right here. This is something that definitely wasn't here the last time you guys saw this van. I did put a bed in here. It's got a bed, blankets, everything. Um, did a little bit of camping. But yeah, doesn't exactly have the best looking sheets in the world on it, but it was just kind of an experiment. But I have slept in this thing several times and it is great. It's actually, it's as, it's as comfortable as my bed in my house. We'll just put it that way. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what I've had going on with the van. I still need to make uh, some new Luon door panels for these back here. You can see how grody looking they are. <clears throat> Maybe one of these days I'll get around to just tearing all this fabric out of here and just I'll put up like Luon or hardwood or simulation hardwood or something. And, uh, you know, like legit turn this thing into a camper van. But hey, it works for now. It's still running as good as it ever did. Which I wouldn't say it was perfect, but it's not bad considering the fact that the thing's got probably 350,000 miles on it. Still got my Zeppelin sticker. That thing's going strong after all these years. <coughs> But yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I've got going on with the van right now. I might post another video up here in a day or two of me driving it. I still haven't ever fixed the windshield. But yeah, I just figured I'd make this little video. Um, mostly for the guy that was wanting to know where the fuel pump relay was. So there it is. <clears throat> 